hello welcome back to my youtube channel today we are gonna go look at this lowe's i was in the neighborhood and i was like you know what i haven't gone to a big box store in a while i want to go check this one out we're only going to be going to this one we're gonna go take a look because i think i saw some places right now are getting philodendron strawberry shakes at their big box stores i don't know which ones or if the lows is even gonna carry like anything but i thought that it could be fun and who knows maybe we walk in there and there's literally a strawberry shake just like sitting there for like 20 dollars or something So I'm looking at the plants and it's actually a pretty good day to be here. There's quite a lot. It actually looks like they either like just got restocked or people just aren't buying house plants right now, but I'm really excited. Let's take a look. So just like everything is stocked right now, but the plants other than just being stocked, like also just look really good. And almost everything is from the Urban Jungle brand. These are $21 eight inch in ceramic pots. Oh, I like this pot a lot too. There's a lot of ficus ruby. And some little dwarf fiddly figs. These are actually like actively growing. We got some plant smart Philodendron Brazils. These are $24.98. These are really pretty ones. I love it when the leaves like actually look painted. Like those two right there. This one looks like it's doing silver stripes portage. And there's about a million different spider plants. There's some curly ones, which are known as Bonnie. And then we have the normal ones, which I don't know what they're called. And then we have a bunch more down here. We have little Crotons. People don't really like Crotons. I'm not a huge fan. $12.98. See, I think that's a little bit more expensive. But I think that $21.98 is like a really good deal for an 8 inch with like a pretty decent sized plant in it. So honestly, if you were looking for like a deal, yeah, this one's $13 for a four inch. I feel like it would actually be better to get a bigger pot instead of like a smaller one. Oh, we have little Calathea or Peperomia obtusifolia. This one's pretty. It definitely needs um, to be watered though. And then down here we have these Syngonia. And these ones, these ones actually look really cool. Ugh. They look like they're super kind of like splotchy. So I like these ones. I think I like the coloring on this specific leaf the most though. We got these peace lilies. These look a little dusty. $19.98, that feels expensive. $9.98, I like doing big box store videos because I can be completely honest about how I feel about the plants, including if they're overpriced or not, because like, what is Lowe's gonna do? Nothing. They're not gonna do anything. We got a goldfish plant, $24.98. Peperomia rotundifolia, $24.98. And we have this like kind of damaged uh, Marble Queen Pothos here, $23.98. <laughs> okay, so the one in the macrame hanger, all right, in the six inch pot, sure it's got a couple like damaged leaves. This is cheaper than that. I love Urban Jungle. Also, sorry if I'm like breathing really hard. It's just like hard to breathe in general. Oh, these are cute. 
I like these. Then we got all these four inches here, some like waffle plants, crotons, peperomia, obtusifolia, and some false aurelia in the back, this one. Now these plants look really nice. There is a lot going on. The orchids, I'm like surprised how good they look. Um, especially because the ones over here, I'll show you in a second, but they're like all droopy, like big droopy. But these are so pretty. Some little African violets. And I love the pots that these Calathea are in and the Aglionema. I guess in the Dracaena. I guess there's three different genuses right there. And this is a really pretty Diffenbachia. This is not one that I would own because it is incredibly poisonous. But maybe once my, my child is old enough and he's not even born yet, so. Something I did want to note was that their big plants look really good. Um, especially their Monstera. Like, look at how healthy this looks. Obviously the new leaves like unfurled in the truck, so they're not the happiest, but all of the older leaves look really, really good. And then this one over here, again, it looks phenomenal. The leaves are so healthy. Then we have some Aglionema. I didn't see how these ones are doing. By comparison, this one doesn't, doesn't look as good as the other one. That's a good leaf though. And then their uh, burgundy rubber trees look super good. Their fiddly figs look really good. They're also all growing. I feel like fiddly figs like abusive relationships. <laughs> and oh, my mom would love this. These are Aglionema. I wonder if it'll say the, the kind or not. No. Aglionema red, $14. My mom would love this. Doesn't this just look like it could kill you? This is a real plant. And I like these ones. These ones are cute. This is a Diffenbachia. I love the pot, first of all. $14.98 as well. That's so aesthetic. I like that. I actually, I think this is the first time I've ever said I really like a Diffenbachia before. I actually, I think, you know what? It might just be the pot. No, that's, that's gorgeous. Oh my God, am I, am I getting older? That's really cute. I really, really like that. And around the front, we have a couple plants up here. Um, we have this, Pearls and Jade. This pretty big pot here. It's twenty six ninety eight for this one, and then we have this little philodendron heteraceum, sixteen ninety eight for this one. It looks nice. I'm not a huge fan of the pot. Their head This one is twenty three ninety eight, and this is in one of the macrames. You know, part of me wonders where like the variegated heteraceum came from in the first place, because unlike a lot of the other variegated plants, which you can kind of find at the grocery store sometimes, I've literally never once seen a variegated heteraceum. Just like out in the wild. We're gonna look at the um, money trees. And a lot of them look really bad. And smell really bad. Yeah, 
This is depression. And like that one smells so bad. And then we have some Dracaena grass here. I think Dracaena marginata. Some ponytail palms. And these ones are all $12.98. I feel like these ones used to be cheaper. Maybe they got more expensive. And then we have these Haworthia. These are $10. These definitely got more expensive recently, but look at how cute the pots are. I feel like an egg should go in it. And from when I was here last, it does look like a lot of their cactus sold, which is good because these are really good deals for these. It's $20. For this super gorgeous blue cactus. That's so pretty. And then there's also a Euphorbia horda in the back over there. I want to take a second and go look at the Christmas lights because I need to buy some for when my parents get here. The idea of a reusable Christmas tree makes a lot of sense but they're so expensive, but then you never have to buy one again, but then you have to keep it. I think once Kai turns three and he's old enough to remember things, I wanna start a Christmas village for him. I think that would be really fun. So I was looking at these lights um, because they're crazy inexpensive right now. How long is this? 26 feet? I think I'm just, I'm gonna get two boxes of these. I wonder, what do you guys, what do you guys think about reusable trees? Let me know. Because I'm not sure how I feel about them. And here's just kind of like an overview of the area. There were some ornaments that were like, looking really cute over there. And that one in particular is um, on sale, but they're like weird plastic ornaments. So at first they looked like, they looked like the ones that are like kind of ceramic, but they were definitely not ceramic. Oh, we have some little Brazils over here. Plant Smart, $5, that's a good price for such a big one. A little alocasia dragon. Poor guy, five bucks. These used to be $300 and you had to import them. We got our sad plants over here. Mm. It's not really anything I'm interested in looking at. I wonder what makes them move things. Like, especially that. These just came in. Why? This was $79.98, which means it is now 50% off, whatever that is. Well, thanks for coming with me on my little trip to the Lowe's. I had a lot of fun looking at everything, and I hope you did too. It was a better than average selection, honestly. So, anyways, thanks as always for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next print section.